All right, so what we have here is the resource war between the uh, great white heron and the little blue heron over a fish that's too big for either one of them to eat. So there's this dead fish and are you giving up? I guess he finally gave up. So the <laughs> wish I had been filming this. So the the big boy he's too small to swallow the fish. Let's see if he'll model this fish for us. Pick up this fish and show us the fish. He's been sitting here all morning thinking the fish is going to get smaller. And then the little blue heron will come in uh, every few minutes to see if the fish has gotten smaller. And uh, apparently this big boy here, pick up the fish, show us the fish, uh, is going to spend his entire day waiting for the fish to get smaller. Did you finally give it up? I guess he finally gave up waiting for the fish to get smaller, but it sounds like we might have the, the sand hills on their way. I don't know what he'll do. I thought this, I've been thinking this was a great white heron, but I notice he's gotten that, uh, that egret plumage on him that, uh, was all the rage and almost had these things go extinct. See that, that feather going off to the left of him. So I guess this is a snowy egret. He's the biggest damn snowy egret I've seen. See, it's, it's that thing off to the left uh, that, uh, you know, that's the reason the Audubon Society was started during the uh, egret plume trade that uh, thousands and thousands, if not millions of those uh, egrets were slaughtered so they could cut that one feather off for uh, clueless morons you know, women's hats, that women stuck that feather in their hat. Uh, and the entire species was just about wiped off the face of the planet. And in the 11th hour, somehow they, I guess they put a, made it illegal. But the damage had been done, and they've never really recovered. Uh, and that is when the Audubon Society began. When was that? I think it was around 1914, maybe, that uh, the snowy egret plume trade was... Put to rest. I think it's about the same year as both the passenger pigeon and the Carolina parakeet went extinct in 1914 and just about had the snowy egret follow them into oblivion. But anyway, it is a spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization and uh, I want to go down to Peanuts Sawmill. And what is today? It is a Wednesday January 10th 2024. 
So we move on through 2024. I'm going to head down to Peanuts Sawmill. And uh, see if I can, these beautiful cypress trees that have, you know, are pretty much extinct also. These are kind of the redwoods of Florida, these gorgeous cypress trees and uh, peanut. It's one of the few people who still manages to get this beautiful cypress. So I'm going to go kill a Florida redwood for my vanity it's uh, instead of uh, instead of a snowy egret I think for to do my part towards the collapse of the ecosystem in Florida I'm gonna go buy some cypress wood although I'm really looking for cedar so I am off to peanuts Get out there and uh, destroy your own piece of the ecosystem. Well, you still can because you are a human. So get out there and do what humans do. Bye, guys.